morning. Before I begin my speech today, I would like to start off with a quick demonstration. So I need a couple volunteers, if I can just get a show of hands. Okay, can I get Michael and, yep, you guys can come on up right here. Okay, so can you do me a favor and punch him in the arm? It's okay, just, just punch him. <laughs> All right, thank you. You gentlemen can sit down. All right, now I want to ask you a question. Why did you punch him? Because I told you to? Because I told him to. Good morning. My name is Julianne Kasperzik, and my speech will be on obedience to authority. Today I will be covering malicious groups, the Stanley Milgram experiment that started it all, and being more cautious and wary. The same excuse that he gave me because I told you to is the same excuse that has been going on for a long time. First, I will begin by explaining infamous groups. We have Nazis, cults, for example, the Jim Jones cult that drank the Kool-Aid, Al-Qaeda. What do they all have in common? They all were told what to do, and they all listened. Of course, they deserve the punishment and the name that has been brought upon themselves, but it's been argued that these people were prompted to commit these acts. Would they have done so otherwise if there were not these authoritative figures telling them what to do? Next, I will be talking about the Stanley Milgram experiment. It all started when Adolf Eichmann, he was a former Nazi who was on trial in 1961. His defense was, I was just following orders. I was just following orders. Is that a suffice explanation? This sparks the interest of Stanley Milgram and he thus begins his experiment. So basically the procedure involves an experimenter, a teacher, and a learner. The learner is set up in a separate room, completely blocked off. He is not seen, but he is only heard by the teacher. The teacher is then prompted by the experimenter to ask the learner questions. Every time the learner gets a question wrong, he is then given a shock. As you can see, he's hooked up over here. So, and as you can see up there, it ranged from 15 volts to 450. 300 was the danger point, 450 was life-threatening. The results, published by the Journal of Abnormal and Social Psychology in 1963, showed that every single one of the participants went up to 300 volts. And mind you, the, as you can see in the last one, the teacher, he could still hear the learner. He could hear his cries, his pain. 65% went all the way up to 450. Now that was a danger point, the life threatening. The thing is, is that the teacher was unaware that the learner was actually not being shocked. He was completely unharmed, he was an actor, and these people were told at any time that they were allowed to get up and leave. But why didn't they? Why? Because the experimenter, an actor in a lab coat, was giving them questions. Keep going. It is essential that you keep going. Please proceed. It is essential to the experiment. And they still had the option to leave. A more modern day example that was featured on the ABC News was the fast food strip search. In a McDonald's in Washington, a police, a man impersonating a police officer calls and tells the manager that one of his employees smuggled drugs in and tried to take money. He then instructs the manager to bring the employee into the office for questioning, tells them to strip them down and search their clothes. He then tells the manager to go about their duties and have a male come in and look after the female. The male then answers the phone, say a man impersonating the police investigator, and he is giving the female instructions to perform sexual acts. This is the most recent example that testifies to the Milgram experiment. Concluding thoughts, we will be talking about being cautious, and the Milgram example proves our potential for evil. We both have good and bad sides, but some people try to take advantage of the bad. We have powerful minds, people know that we are a catalyst for change, and they use that against us. Philip Zimbardo, a renowned psychologist, says that in some cases, authorities are just. In others, they are false authorities. Basically, it is up to us to discern who is genuine and who is not. It can be difficult, but it is essential. We have to be careful, but not be paranoid. You don't want to be that person that doesn't listen to anyone, it's 
like, oh, why should I listen to you just because you say so? We have to respect those that are in command, but we do need to be cautious. And finally, Henry David Thoreau once said, any fool can make a rule, and any fool will mind it. And I also have one more quote over here by Robert Louis Stevenson. In each of us, two natures are at war, the good and the evil. Do not let the wrong people control that evil. Thank you.